So what's up guys, today I want to talk about something that is a bit more self-development, um, which I'm going to be rolling into a lot more in 2018. A lot of you guys have asked me about, you know, how do I wake up at 5.30? Um, how do I balance like social life and my business? How do I manage like my, my bedtime routine, my morning routine, bunch of shit. Today, I want to talk about journaling. Here's a grown ass man talking about journaling, something I never thought I'd be doing on YouTube, but let's get into it. Um, yeah, basically, Look, I've been journaling for like four or five years. You'll see right all over my house, like I've just got like journal, journal, uh, journal, notepad. It's honestly all the same shit to me. Um, so let's head on. Excuse my kitchen. I just moved in. I still need to get a cleaner. Uh, it's pretty bad. But uh, as you can see up here, I keep a few, few more journals. Um, I always have like, literally there's like, another five back there. I always just have journals lying around. Uh, this, this is a productivity planner. Let me get out of my kitchen for a second. So yeah, this is productivity planner. And um, I tried this one out for a bit. Uh, as you can see, it's got stuff in here such as, um, you know, uh, most important task of the day, secondary tasks of importance, productivity score, stuff like that. I personally didn't enjoy it. I just use my computer. Uh, which we'll go over in some other video, but we can see some of the journals here. Why should you actually journal? Um, well, first of all, just to kind of, um, for me, the, the, like when you're an entrepreneur, you think a lot, right? You think a lot and you come into, you, you, you face issues daily and there's problems with your business or there's little things that are niggling away, like in at you and you, you don't realize them. Like when you write down every single morning, just what are three things that are weighing you down that day? Like try that and you will see your stress level, your unhappiness level, like all these things will just like, they'll completely vanish, right? Your happiness will go through the roof because there's so many little things that you don't even realize, like you wake up and there's, it just, there's this weight on your shoulders. And um, it's something that I experience all the time. So either in journals or on a notepad over there, I have like little like five to 15 minute tasks that are weighing me down could be done quickly. And once they're done quickly, I can then focus on, you know, the more important shit, right? So obviously I wake up, I always get most important tasks done first, but then usually right after lunch, that's when I get those little things that are just kind of like taking up a mental capacity and a mental space. I get those done and that's stuff I put in my journal, right? So literally first thing when I wake up, you know, I've got stuff like my five minute journal and whatnot, but usually when I come back from the gym or I end up my morning routine right before I work, I just write down on a piece of paper or, or in my journal, what's my emotional quality of that day? What's my state of mind? Now, the other reason I like journals is because like, you know, like you, you can look back over some of the shin. It's just, it's so interesting. Like you can see 2017 goals, make a hundred thousand, did that have 20,000 new subscribers, did not do that, travel to, tw oh, I mean, <laughs> maybe maybe there's some huge like bump up by the end, but travel to 12 new cities, did that. Um, this is a promise to myself, the opportunity is there, you just need to find the solutions. And look, you can, you can like there's so much stuff that you can look back at. I, I mean, I can see notes when I first started studying Russell Brunson shit, and this is all dated and whatnot, and it's it's super interesting and cool just to see like, what are your thought patterns before and compare them to now, right? Look, you can do all this stuff on your computer and whatnot, but I think the power of the written word is just so, so powerful, right? So I would, I would much rather do this on, on my journal than, um, than my, what's it called? Um, than my computer. You can even see stuff like here. I will have to cover what companies it is, but you can see for that month, you know, my income and stuff like that. Um, and, you know, I can see the dates, what companies it's coming from, invoices, whatnot. And it's super cool just to look back over, you know, it's super cool just to look back over your, 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 like your level of consciousness before compared to where you're at now. And it's just, a, it's a cool way to unplug from the micro. Because you know, like the, as an entrepreneur, it's like we're like shit. Last week I didn't make as much money as I would have wanted to, or maybe yesterday didn't go as well. You know what's really humbling? When you look back over your old journals and you just realize how fucking stupid you used to be. I look back at some of this shit and I'm like, 
Jesus, like, holy crap, I was not a clever, I was not a clever kid. And how far I've come since then, and by the way, all of these are 2017 journals. Uh, these ones are, I think, from quarter, like from month March to like mo uh, month uh, August. So really not that long ago. And as I said, it's just, it's super cool just to see notes after notes, where you were at, your mental clarity. As I said, I write down my mental state. It's in some of the other journals. Um, I write down my mental state, what I'm, how I'm feeling that morning. And it's super cool and super humbling. And it, it's, as I said, because you're with yourself every single day, right? You're with yourself every single day, so you don't realize the fact that you got 1% better yesterday. You don't realize the fact that last week you like you got over this limiting belief or this hurdle that has been holding you back for so fucking long. But when you just take the time to look back over your old journals, when you actually take the time to journal and you have something like there, you have something that you can see and you can see exactly where you've come from and where you're at now, I think it's, it's honestly incredible. And I, I would recommend to anyone, just go pick up some journals. Whenever I buy journals, I buy like five, 10 at a time. Um, you know, I like these, I like, I, li I like this size. Um, and yeah, I don't know, it's just, it's so cool to see like how far, how far you come because I think none of us give ourselves enough credit for how far we come. So pick up some journals, especially if you're an entrepreneur, pick up some journals every single morning, write down your emotional state your quality of mind, what are the things that are weighing you down, get those out of the way as soon as possible. And whenever you're researching, whenever you're coming to stumbling blocks in your business, in your life, in your happiness, in your relationship, whatever the fuck it may be, write it down in your journal. And the cool thing is, I can look at these in 10 years and go, holy shit, Iman, you had no idea what the hell you were doing, but at least you figured it out in the end. And, um, and I think that's quite cool. So guys, hope you enjoyed this video. I, uh, I'm going to be uploading a lot more frequently. I, the past few weeks, I've been working on the Fewer Systems project and obviously moving into my new crib. But um, yeah, December, a lot more content coming. So let me know down in the description or down in the comments what you'd like to see. And I shall see you guys tomorrow.